everyone, and welcome back to Untamed Life of a Cougar. Echo, what and how? <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. I don't know how she did that, but oh gosh. Okay, well, we're probably going to go hunt, I think, and uh, I'm a little bit on edge because I don't think it's happened yet. No, it hasn't happened yet, but um, I am... Uh, a little bit concerned that we're gonna have another killer male show up. It would be about time. And uh, yeah, generally these things happen. They seem to take a little bit more than one episode. So we finished right at the end of an episode. Nothing bad happened last time. I have a feeling we're gonna see another attack this time. It usually seems to be about 20 to 30 minutes, maybe 15 even. But um, this time it definitely is on the longer side, and uh, so I'm kind of just getting prepared to run again because uh, this could be kind of bad. <laughs> so we're definitely up on the top, or we're up on the topmost den. We're in the, the one in the middle here, and it's actually the hardest to access, and it's going to be a long journey just to get down from it because the kittens won't follow us over a cliff. They will, um, <laughs> that, that sounded terrible, but no, in this game there's no fall damage so you can slide down the cliffs. The kittens won't really do that, and so, um, yeah, understandably so. I mean, you wouldn't want them falling off a cliff, and in real life, oh gracious, yep, yep, okay, time to go, kids, time to go. Where is the killer male? Okay, he's down on the other side of the river, um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, generally you probably wouldn't want to be falling off a cliff anyway, but in this game it's not that bad for you. And it would be easier to just kind of slide over the side. In fact, I think that's what Kira's mom did with her, because by the time that uh, we got to this point, we actually had, uh, I think, already lost the other kittens. Um, unfortunately, Kira ended up being the only survivor of her litter. Okay, let's follow. We're going to try and grab this horse carcass and take it with us and move out as fast as we can. So, but yeah, I'm pretty sure by the time we started actively using this den, I know this den was the one that gave us so much trouble. And if you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check out the previous season because uh, it was intense. It was it was pretty crazy, and uh, you'll get to hear Akira's childhood story. But um, yeah, basically uh, things went south, and uh, bad things started to happen, and we had some some trouble here at this den, and uh, it ended up being kind of a bad thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop real fast. We'll let some of the kittens eat. Everybody's on different levels of food right now. Okay, now they're pretty close together so we can keep going for a bit. This horse carcass should last us for a while, I think, and I'm actually going to go into targeting mode just so that if there's danger, it makes it easier for us to keep up with that. Um, but yeah, so um, <laughs> if you haven't seen the previous season, definitely go check it out. It was pretty interesting and uh, pretty exciting and pretty intense. And, um, yeah, this den has definitely given us problems before, but I'm pretty sure we ended up just ultimately resorting to having Kira's mom grab Kira and just slide down the cliff with her to escape this den. We can't do that because we have all three kittens still. I keep calling them kittens. I talked about this last time. <laughs> this is the price I pay for running a season of Shelter 2 simultaneously with a season of Untamed. Um, it should be cubs. I'm probably not going to remember it in the future. I just am going to apologize in advance for that. All right, we've got some sort of enemy here. There's a deer, and it's a fox. Okay, so I'm going to get a little closer here. These guys, oh, that's the deer. These guys should run away from the predators. In fact, do we even... No, we actually don't even need to go this way. It's the other way. Okay, so we won't have to deal with that fox. We should be fine. We can just go this way and make our way down. Um, oh, wait. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, we got him. Oh, my goodness. That was not what I expected. I'm going to drop this over here, and we'll eat from this fox carcass, and I'm going to see... I'm going to keep waiting, I think... And we'll wait for everybody to kind of get into a similar place food-wise so that they should all eat at once. I don't know who... Why are you guys glitching? I don't know who's more hungry at the moment, but, um... Yeah, we, we're gonna kind of just wait. And uh, I want to get off the really tough part of the mountain before night falls, but we may not do that, so we need to just move as fast as we can. It looks like night is already falling. These guys are very vocal, too, so that kind of makes things interesting. 
Um, it keeps scaring me a little bit because they have very fierce sounding, uh, they sound very fierce for being so young, but, uh, it's good to know they're right there. Alright, I don't see any more, um, which den are we even going to? Okay, it's the upper one there, so once we get down, we could probably go down that little plateau area. There's several ways off the lowest level of the mountain, but there's really only one way up, and so once you start getting down the mountain, it's a little bit easier to navigate. It's just getting... The carcass despawned. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is gonna happen now. I don't want to have to go back up, but one of the kittens is getting real hungry. I don't like the situation in the slightest. Yep, we're just gonna go back real fast. Oh, this is not what I wanted to have to do. But uh, we don't have the chance to stop. In fact, it's pretty safe here. We could probably run and maybe go grab the carcass pretty quick. I don't think we're going to have too many problems doing this. Um, where is the carcass? It's right up here. Okay, they're going to catch up to us. And we should be good. Okay, they can actually run to keep up now, so that's a very good thing. Let's stop. We'll let them all eat. Are you going to eat? Who hasn't eaten? Come back and eat. I don't know who hasn't eaten, but somebody still needs to. Guys? Really, guys? Alright, hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna eat now, too. Alright, we'll make sure everybody's falling. There we go. That was an unexpected detour. That was not what I wanted to see happen, but you know what? It is what it is. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> it's better than risking losing a kitten, so... Or I keep calling them kittens. I'm sorry, you guys. I am so used to Shelter 2. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's keep going. Thankfully, that wasn't too bad of a detour. It could have been a lot worse for sure. Why are some of them seeming to drain faster. I guess it's because they didn't quite eat at the same time, but at least they're more matched up now than they have been. And this is still on easy, you guys. I shudder to think what would happen on the harder difficulties. It kind of scares me just a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure I'm quite up for that. Again, the way we're going to progress through the difficulties is when we successfully make it on one difficulty, then we'll make it to the, then we'll, then we'll bump up the difficulty to the next one. So we didn't do it on easy yet. We got to do it on easy, and then we'll start making things harder. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm going to die. Uh, we're not going to make it through, and it's just going to be painful. So we're going to we're going to make it we're going to make it a little bit um, less dramatically all at once increase in difficulty. All right. Well, we're not even off the mountain and we're halfway through episode, the first episode of the journey. Great. This is going fine. <laughs> oh, this is going to be bad. Thankfully, it's easier to get down than it is to get up. But if it goes back to this den right away, because it has done that before, it's it, it has taken us off this den and then and like, oh, guess what? No, you have to go back. And is that rogue or rogue rival is the rival moving why doesn't the rival and the killer male just like i mean why is it so important that everyone hates us wouldn't it be more advantageous i mean i get it's a game you have to have enemies wouldn't it i mean they're both right there wouldn't it just be more advantageous for the two of them to become mates and go find their own territory i guess we probably have the better territory and that's what they're looking for is they're looking for a good place so I guess it kind of makes sense, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, we got another rival somewhere. Uh, right down below us. Great. We're, we're literally walking right towards her. That, this is fine. This, this is fine. This is not fine in the slightest. <laughs> um, and we need food again, and there's no food. Oh... This is the point when I start making sarcastic comments about how how things can't get worse. Except I'm not going to do that. Because whenever I start making sarcastic comments about how things couldn't possibly get worse, they get worse. So, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to grin and bear it. And we're going to find food and everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be great. We hope. <laughs> All right, just keep moving, and it looks like there's going to be some sort of prey up here. I just hope we get there soon. We probably could run more, but I kind of don't really want to do that. I don't know if drain that'll drain the food faster or not. 
Oh, come on. How far are we away from this deer? Why are we still so far away? And I, I say deer because it's the deer icon, but really that can be any sort of non-dangerous prey. All right. I'm not entirely sure that the killer male and the ro or rival female aren't fighting, actually. There's a deer. Okay. Um, is it gonna- don't fall off the cliff. Oh no, it's going down. Okay. There's our way down. We should be able to get down and chase this deer and be able to catch it, I think. I'm gonna stop- oh, why is it running? Is it running because there's a rival right there? I don't know why it's- it's- oh goodness, we've gotta catch it though. We've really gotta catch it. We don't exactly have much choice. We don't really have time for anything else. Um, great. Oh, we're sliding. Okay, they're still following us, so that's good. Great, nobody has food. I don't even have food. Oh, no, I, I, I can't. There's nothing for them to eat. There hasn't been food in a long time. I don't think... I don't think starvation kills them right away. Okay, we're gonna- we can't- we can run, okay. Oh, there's a deer, okay. I'm gonna- okay, we've gotta catch this deer. I think it'll just start- yeah, it's just slowly gonna take off their health, I think. Um, and our stamina won't regen, so we've gotta be kinda cautious of that. But there is a deer right here. And if we're cautious, we should be able to take it out. We've just gotta be really careful. Because we cannot lose this deer. Yeah, you can see their health is just starting to go down a little bit at a time. It's not draining horrifically fast, but it's definitely... We need food, we need food pronto, otherwise it's going to be a problem. <laughs> Alright. So far, no predators either, so that's good. Alright, we just gotta get a little bit closer. No! Oh no. Oh no. Okay, oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. We can catch it, we can catch it. Oh, it turned, it turned, it turned. Oh, come on! We're so close! We're so close! Oh, come on! We've gotta catch it! Come on! There's a rival behind me? What? What? No, I don't have time for this! I've gotta get a deer for my babies! I don't have time for you and your nonsense! Oh, my health is down. My health is really suffering right now. Uh, and I don't think it's gonna go back up. I took damage from that, but I'm not healing because I am hungry. Alright, are we- we're not stalking, but there's another tear right there. I can see it. We've just gotta get a little closer. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> this is not good, <laughs> you guys. This is really, really bad. <laughs> I'm not okay. My babies aren't okay. We need food pronto or we're all gonna die. This is not good. It's not even really any fault of our own. It's just there's literally no food. Okay, we're really close. Don't- is it running? It's running. Why is it running? Okay, we're gonna go after the buck. This is probably a terrible decision. I'm probably gonna die to this dang thing. The killer male is right here. He's right- okay, there's- you know what? There's a predator. I would rather deal with a predator than oh. try and, and hunt some prey right now. I'd rather get- okay, oh, stock it, stock it. Okay, hold on a sec, hold on. We have a chance. We've got a chance. Yes! Okay, everybody eat, everybody eat, everybody eat, everybody eat. Now! Now, now, now. Okay, now we need to move. Everybody's fed. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to carry Luna. I want to carry the deer. We're bringing a carcass with us whenever we possibly can because you know what? I don't want to go through this nonsense again. All right, come on. Let me pick it up, please. That's Luna. No, I want to pick up the deer. I don't want to pick up Luna. I want to pick up the deer. I want to pick up the deer. Echo? No. Guys, you're really going to do this to me? There we go. Okay. Okay. Everybody is really angry. I don't blame them. That was not a fun adventure, but we need to move it. The killer male, I think, is still on the other side of the stream, so we should be able to... Oh, yeah, no, you can see him over there. Look at him. You can see he's right there caught on the edge of the stream. So he's not too bright. He hasn't figured out how to get across to us just yet, and we're going to use that to our advantage and just get the heck out of here <laughs> because we need to move it to the other den pronto. 
Oh, I'm glad that that didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to. Um, it could have been a lot worse. And uh, so far, things have not been as bad as I was afraid they were going to be. I think that uh, predator back there, by the way, is one of the alligators from the river. So I'm not overly concerned. If it charges us, then we'll deal with it. But uh, the alligators aren't too bad unless you get too close to them. So as long as we keep moving, we should be fine. Okay, here we go. I think if we just keep moving, I think we'll be all right. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> this is... I was gonna say this is not easy, but it hit me that this is literally the easy mode, and... Yeah, that, that, that legitimately terrifies me. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to play it on any other mode, honestly. Um, I can only hope that the, the cub's hunger would not drain faster. I keep hearing um, an alligator too. Oh, it's off to the side there. You can see we're passing by it. That's why we can hear it. Um, but I can only hope that the cub's hunger wouldn't drain faster, that it would just be uh, stuff is harder to fight, but even that is a kind of terrifying thought. All right, we should be able to stop and eat while we're carrying it. Yep, we're still good. We can keep moving. Is that rival? I don't think that rival is too close. We've just got to keep going. As long as we don't have to be on the mountain, I can navigate at night. Uh, that is one blessing from this situation, is that I don't care that it's nighttime. Uh, we're going to keep going. We're going to be fine. Also, the only way that... Um, basically, the only way to... Uh, the, basically, the way this game works is that each episode is our save point. So at the end of every... Well, or that's the way I run this game at least. So every time we have an episode, I save at the end of the episode, not before... So, technically, if we do lose cubs but we die, then that actually kind of works out to our favor because we could lose progress up to the point of being able to still have the cubs. But we also are trying our very best not to die, so we can't just go around, oh, no, I lost a cub, I'm going to go die on purpose. No, that's not how this works. We have to legitimately be trying to stay alive. If by some miracle it works out in a way that benefits us, then great. If not, we face the consequences of everything we do. So, here we go. We're almost there. I think we might actually be able to make it without the killer male getting to us, because he's pretty far away and he doesn't seem to know what he's doing. So I think we might actually be fine. We've just got to keep going, and I'm a little worried because I definitely do see multiple enemies. I think they might just be foxes, but a lot of the time when you have six enemies spawn kind of close like that, it can also be wolves, and that's what I'm afraid of. Wolves are really bad news, and yeah, it's not a good thing. <laughs> if we have wolves, we're going to be in some trouble. Why is that deer just bouncing down the... I don't know what's going on anymore, you guys. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't even know... Wait, oh, we startled the deer. That's what's happening. Okay, so there is a deer up here. I'm going to have everyone stop. We'll eat. Okay, wait. Okay, can everybody stop? I'm gonna actually leave this carcass here and follow. And I'm gonna try and hunt again because I think we're gonna wanna have another carcass on hand because this one's getting pretty used up. We'll just leave that for the scavengers and see if we can hunt again. There is a deer right up there. There's actually, is that a horse? I think that might be a horse right up, oh no, it's another deer. It's just bouncing away. Um, but if we can creep up on this deer, it's resting right now, so it's maybe less alert. We can just stay targeted on it and get really close. Oh, no, there it goes. All right, we gotta get it. There we go. Got it, and got it. Okay, we're good. So, let's go ahead and we'll... That's a fox. Okay. Okay. That's a problem. That's why everybody's hissing. <laughs> um, that fox could give us trouble, but... It might... Oh, is there a rogue? There's a rogue or a rival right on the other edge of this bridge. Okay, so we've got to get to the bridges here. Um, yeah. <laughs> we've got to get to the bridge here and get across. And there's a fox coming again. Okay, get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, he's faster than me, so we're going to leave him alone. But if he tries to do that again, I'm going to get him. 
Um, we're just gonna keep moving for now. He's probably gonna continue to... That's a... Oh, that's a buck. Okay, I thought it was a wolf for a second, and that, I kind of just froze. Alright. So, we actually have to go this way. Um, I'm gonna watch real carefully and see if that fox is gonna come back. Okay, I don't care about scaring these guys. We've got, we've got food. We don't need to worry about that. I'm, I'm actually gonna stop and... Okay, wait a sec. Oh, he's running. Okay, we'll stop here. We're gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. Wait a sec. What was that? Oh, no, no, no. We don't have time. Okay, okay. Everybody get over here. Everybody stay with me. We don't have time to stop. We're going now. We're going now. Okay, we need to move. We need to move immediately. Those are wolves. Okay, I'm not gonna... Oh, gracious. Are the... Are they on the other side fighting? Is that what's happening here? Oh, and there's a rival right here. Okay, we're gonna have to stop and fight again. Okay, oh, oh, here she is. Okay, she's right here. We gotta take her out, gotta take her out, gotta take her out. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Okay, she's gonna run. All right, let's have everyone. Oh, no, there's a fox again. Okay, the fox can leave. The fox is leaving. Everybody's gonna stop and eat. Okay, everybody follow. We need to get to the bridge immediately. Oh, no, I don't want to pick up an echo. All right, and uh, we're actually going to stop here for today, I think, because it is about that time again. So uh, there's some very ominous sounds becoming audible nearby and uh, perhaps great danger on the horizon. We're going to go ahead and wrap this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. After I fight you, because you, what are you even doing? Wait a sec. There's another one. There's another one. No, 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 no. There's another one. There's another rival, I think. And a fox. I'm gonna see if I can take this guy down. Okay. Will you guys actually let me do my outro? Is that another rival right here? There is another rival right here. Okay. <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just, I'm trying to end the episode here. My goodness gracious. There is. I can see her in the distance. Okay, I'm gonna try and end this off here if I can. And no, she's gonna come for us, isn't she? Yep, she's definitely coming for us. Okay, we're gonna deal with you. And then we'll end the episode. Okay, oh, the stupid fox. Okay, you get out of my territory. Get out of my territory. Here we go. We're gonna deal with you. Deal with this nonsense. That actually almost looks like Kira's mom a little bit. Um, but you know what? We're getting out of here. I'm turning around. I'm gonna go back to my babies. I'm gonna try and deal with this fox that won't leave us alone. And then we're gonna end off this episode finally because you know what? Okay, stay on him. Okay, got him. There we go. All right. <laughs> Now I think I can end the episode. Are we clear? There's no danger that's- Okay, nothing's gonna come lunging out at us. That was three rivals in the space of, like, what? Two minutes? Three minutes? Okay, not Luna. <laughs> Just punt the fox carcass across the, across the ground here. All right. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.